Hey guys, so for our last episode, we went and found our sister Jovi here in XD Gale Darkness. Now we were told to go look for the professor. So one thing I always never got in the game whenever I play this, because I've played this multiple times, um, we're supposed to go here next, kind of, but you can see there's just Aiden, Aiden, one professor there, and we're no one around here, so we're going to go up the elevator. Elevator opens. And then that's where he's supposed to be, but then we have this person here. Oh, June, welcome back. Where are you gone far away? Huh? The director? You went downstairs just a little while ago, Professor Crane did. You didn't bump into him? How could I bump, not bump into him? Unless he took like a secret back way. I didn't know about it. See there, bam, he's there. Like, where did- was he a freaking ninja or something? Hi there, June. I've been waiting for you. I wanted to show you the snag machine. Has Aiden said anything to you about the snag machine? I know what it is, but for the sake of the let's play, no. The snag machine is a special device for snagging Pokemon. The two of us, Aiden and I, were developing it, and now it's finally finished. I'd like to begin testing it immediately. Will you help us? Oh, sure. I figure because if I say no, you know, um, you're going to keep asking me. And otherwise, there'll be no part of this. There'll be no reason for the game. I should tell you, the snag machine is an outrageous piece of work. After all, it's used for stealing Pokemon from another trainer in battle. But we didn't make this to steal Pokemon indiscriminately from trainers. June, you've heard of Shadow Pokemon, haven't you? They're Pokemon that have been turned into fighting machines after having their hearts closed by artificial means. They're to be pitied. We developed the snag machine to take back such modified shadow Pokemon. Why this machine is needed now, I can explain later. But for now, I'd like you to test our snag machine. After all, you're the best trainer at this lab. The snag machine is inside this case. Try equipping it right away, please. Well, if I sneak away, you're going to tell me to do it anyway, so let's just do what you say. And look at that snag machine. Ooh, look how flawless he looks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wow, it fits you perfectly. It looks cool too, June. I'll also add a new feature to your PDA. It's called the Shadow Monitor. It lets you check data on the Shadow Pokemon you've encountered. June obtained the Shadow Mo Monitor feature. I gotta admit, even now that would look like a cool PDA to have. Thank you, Aiden. That's it, June. That's spot on. From here on, it will be a lot easier to just show you how it works in practice, rather than trying to describe it. Let's go upstairs to the battle sim system room. But, whoops, how silly of me, I almost forgot to give you these. In order to use a snack machine, you need at least one Pokeball, so I'll give you these. But this is where the chaos breaks out. This is where it all begins. Pokeballs aren't used in the ore region, so we import them from another region. Okay, now we're set. Let's hurry to the director. Ay 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 ay! I thought that's how it always sounded. <laughs> What's going on? Who are you people? Uh oh, that's my cue. It's terrible, June. Some strange men came barging in and took off with the director. No, I must go and be the hero. Oh, this isn't, this don't look good. They even took out the, why take out the Pokemon? You evil Sunzo. Ugh. Will you let go of me? Where do you think you're taking me? Fool, fool, fool. I'm taking you to your new lab, Professor. Wait, my new lab? Move it. We don't have any time. If you don't want to get hurt, hustle yourself into the car. That thing isn't a car, that's a tank. You people, what are you? Oh, looks like it's time for me to step in. Huh? What is it, punk? You're going to play hero and try to stop us? I don't show mercy to anyone. Not even kids. And our first battle. Spinaps would like to battle. Spinaps? It just sounds like a weird name. Oh, I remember Teddy Ursa. I always, uh, my first run through, I kept Teddy Ursa, and 
It's like my favorite Pokemon. I was so happy. Woo! What is that? June, the overall reader of Spesvanning. That's a shadow Pokemon. Hurry, June, throw a Pokeball at it. Well, let's see. I am Ball of Pokey. Use it. June threw a snag ball. And the worst part of a Pokemon trainer's life, waiting for that third click to just, that third shake and it clicks. Ugh, such a heart wrenching. Especially when you're toward the end. What was that? My Shadow Pokemon! Was that? Was it a snag? I got 165 for winning and Teddy Ursa joined the party, yeah! Kid, what is that machine on your arm? Could it be? A snag machine? What the heck is it doing here? That's big news. Come on, move. I need to report this to headquarters. Like, now. Like, totally. Like, now. We gotta go do it, like, right now. Let's go sta- let's go stash him into the car that we call a car, but it's really like a monster van thing. Oh, now everybody's sad. They're so sad. Wow, they took the professor away! Don't cry, Jovi. I'm sure Professor Crane will be okay. <laughs> sniff. I didn't know whether to actually sniff or say the word sniff. <laughs> We've contacted the police and the proper authorities about Professor Crane. They should let us know if they discover anything. I still can't believe that this is happening. Professor Crane predicted that someone will try to make King Shadow Pokemon again. His prediction was on the mark. June, and that Teddy Ursa you snack probably isn't the only Shadow Pokemon that was made. When the Purified Chamber is completed, will we be able to save many Shadow Pokemon at the same time? But... Professor Crane is crucial to this project. Without him, there's nothing we can do. But nope, we're gonna have an inspirational look at Lily. She's gonna be like... But, wait... We can do it ourselves. Let's complete it. We'll finish the purified chamber ourselves. Lily, the director's not here. It's hopeless. There isn't any possible way to get it done. You're on the verge of finishing. This isn't the time to feel sorry for yourself. The purified chamber project got this far not just because of Professor Crane, was here, but we got to be here all because we worked together as a team, and I butchered that entire paragraph. <laughs> Having come this far, I would be wrong to stop now. Our pride as scientist is on the line. Let's finish the project as one. Things will get very busy around here. I'll go upstairs and check how the data processing is progressing. I thought processing is processing. Woo, well, I'm a brain. Let's go upstairs. Mom! Mom, what am I supposed to do? Mom, help me out. Tell me what to do. Because I think the next thing we're going to have to be doing is going down to... The basic data should be fine now. Keep going with it. June, you came at the right time. May I get you to run an errand for me in Gatenport? Yep. We've ordered a special machine part for the purified chamber from the part shop. Gate and port is due south from here. It's not far, but be careful. Jovi knows the part shop. It's next to Emily's house. Mommy, can Jovi go? Jovi wants to help everyone. Jovi, I appreciate your offer. I know you want to help, but it's an important component. Okay, Jovi, you're a member of the lab staff, too. You may go if you take Jin with you. Dear, would you mind going with Jovi? Okay, Mommy, Big Brother is Jovi's assistant. You have to listen to Jovi, Big Brother. Yay! More of Jovi. Hooray! Off we go to Game Fort. Jovi, June, both of you be very careful, please. I'm counting on you two. Jovi is Big Brother's... No, what is it? Jovi's like, jo Big Brother is Jovi's assistant, even though Big Brother is leading the way. Aww, 
Oh, the Pokemon is doing better. He's doing. Mango is doing better. It just makes me happy. Oh. Yes, walk at your very slow pace when I'm running all around the place. <laughs> Joby is on an important trip to Gate and Port. Big Brother is Joby's assistant. Huh? Jude is your assistant? Uh, you must be confident with such a good assistant, Joby. Anyways, June, could we ask you to hold on to that snack machine and use it? There may be other shadow Pokemon out there. If you spot one, rescue it from the criminals. I'll make approaches to the authorities and other people to have Pokeballs available for sale at shops. There's more. I wanted to give these to you, June. Memo one, memo two. There are documents on Shadow Pokemon that Professor Crane and I compiled. Please read them. All right, now to get on with the journey. I remember when we run into the um the old guy in the kimono here. I forgot his name because well we're, I haven't played this in a while. I always actually remember when I played this. I would actually read through the lines myself. Like even though I wasn't doing a let's play commentary or whatever. Um, I would actually just read the hidden, like, read, give the characters their own voices. And I remember, I would give them a sweet little old man's voice. Oh, ho, ho. Listen, listen, the pie shop is over there. Hurry, big brother. This way, this way. Ouch. That doesn't look like it was comfortable. Ouchies, Joey fell over. Fell down. Wow, I can't read. <laughs> Hey now, where do you think you're going? Oh, sorry. Jovi was sorry. It wasn't on purpose. And look what you've done! You've messed up the happening of the Zook, the coolest, baddest, and most happening guy around. Ugh, sorry doesn't begin to cut it. Huh? You? There, yeah, you punk. You're with this munchkin, aren't you? It looks like to me you're a trainer. You look like you'll be a million times more fun than some munchkin. I'll stomp you flat with my shadow Pokemon. It's like some Johnny Bravo wannabe if you look at him. That's quite enough of that. Pokemon aren't meant to be used in such a manner. Choose your place and time. Shut it! Hey, meddling senior citizen, take your preaching to someone who cares, or do you want me to pound you too? Mr. Verich, perhaps I should. Huh? And who do you think you are? So now you're going to play the man and stop me? This gets better by the minute. Let's see you try. Mystery Man Arda sent out Alakazam. And then his Alakazam is just like, own. I own you. You've been owned. You got served. Oh, the poor Zangos. No, he faded. Mystery Man Arda's defeated Thug Zook. Seriously, like, he reminds me of Johnny Bravo. Tell me in the comments if you think he looks like Johnny Bravo, because honestly, I think he does. Looks like he's gonna remember this. Oh yeah. Should I give chase? I seriously, whenever I would read that, I would see that in like a British accent. No, no, that won't be necessary. He won't come back. Leave him be. Yes, sir. Let us be on our way. Oh, I was reading that. Let us be on our way. Woo! Uh, thank you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That hardly deserves such gratitude, my little lady. We did only what had to be done. Nothing more. Well, after all that, looks like we're just going to save here. I'll see you guys for the next episode. Comment down below. Uh, if you've played this game, what is your favorite Shadow Pokemon so far? And maybe you guys can suggest to me what Pokemon you think I should keep using when I capture them. So, I don't know, maybe just an idea. But thank you guys so much for enjoying this episode. I'll see you for the next video. Bye!